Hi, CNN. It's us here at Real Time with my panel, a fellow at the Modern War Institute at West Point, Max Brooks, and she's a senior political correspondent at Puck, Tyra Palmieri. Okay. Here are the questions. Any predictions for the Oscars on Sunday? Ooh, I'm not the person to ask. What are you looking at me for? I ain't there. I don't have a movie. I mean, I know. Wait, wait, wait. I know. Well, well, Bradley Cooper will win something because he seems so desperate for an Oscar. <laughs> right? Yes. Well, I, I can tell you, I mean, my personal favorite as, as a novelist is American fiction. That's great, I, I think yeah. it's amazing. Everybody is amazing. So go, guys. Okay. Uh, what do you <laughs> think of, uh, this is for you, but everybody can answer. What do you think of Trump meeting with Viktor Orban? He is the uh, dictator. Is that too strong a word of Hungary? Yeah. I mean, he's an authoritarian Yeah, yeah he's as close as it gets in the Western yeah. world. I mean, um, he was elected, but so was Hitler. Right. Um, and he seems to be elected over and over and over again. Yes. Um, but uh, I think, actually, most Americans know nothing about Viktor Orban, so it probably has no impact on his electability. <laughs> well, and that's I would agree with right. that. You're right. So right. I... That's true. Yeah. But can we educate them a little? Oh, yeah, we, sure. We Hungary's a country. A, we're it's on right CNN now. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. So, yeah. Who, who is Victor Orban? Well, there is a country. It's called Hungary. Um, you may have heard of it's it. It's part and, of my uh, heritage. Yeah. Oh, it's um, Hungarian. Oh, that's amazing. And it is on Eastern Europe, and it became a part of the European Union, but it is definitely the most difficult member of the European Union. Yeah, it used far. to be part of the Soviet bloc. It exactly. was part of the group with, with East Germany and Poland and Czechoslovakia. And allies with Hitler in World War II. Uh, yeah, well, many were. Right. right. And they were, uh, they were one of the countries that basically were like, don't worry, Hungarian Jews, we're not going right. to turn you over, we're not going to turn you over, you're not going to turn... Yeah, we are. And then by the very end, bam, all right. at once. Yeah. Right. And they have a very strong anti-immigration stance, especially with the migrants that are coming through yeah. Europe. Um, they have been the most resistant to taking any migrants that have come through, actually, the borders of Eastern Europe as they came through Syria. Um, and... Yeah, I, it's a it's an interesting thing to see this country like try to be have the benefits of the West, but also be resistant as well. You know who else didn't take any Syrian refugees? Saudi Arabia, hmm. where they might have fit in a little better. Right. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, it's. Yeah. I know. I get it. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, do you think a two-state solution for Israel and Palestine is possible? Yeah, we got uh, 80 seconds. Let's yeah. fit through that. <laughs> hundred percent. And, and this is what so many people don't understand about you do, Biden. You think it's I think it's a hundred percent possible. Biden's the guy to do it because he's established oh. his bona fides. These things do not happen overnight. And the first step of making peace is establishing your cred. There's an old saying, uh, it's either U.S. Diplomatic Corps or Star Trek VI. Uh, <laughs> only Nixon could go to China, right? Yeah, he was yeah. the only guy with the bona fides to do it. And Biden was so smart in Israel's darkest moment, right after October 7th, he came to Israel and said, I am your friend, I am your protector. So now he is in a position to say, as your friend and your protector, I can tell you the but, only long-term solution for Israel is the creation of but Palestine. But you're only talking about this from one side. You do realize that Hamas does not want a two-state solution. No, no. They want the whole thing, from but, the river to the sea. Right. But Hamas needs to be isolated, and we need to talk. The, the fourth player in this quartet is the Arab world, right? These are the... And, the good news here is that the world has changed in 20 years, and it's not your father's Middle East anymore, right? This is not dictators in, some, in the 60s. In some ways. In some ways, but it's not like... In some the, ways it is. Yeah, yeah, but now there is a new coming war with Iran, and there are real... Yes. This, this is huge, and the, the Gulf Arabs the war between Israel and Iran no, or us and Iran? No, between the Iranians and the Gulf Arabs. That's the war. That's the big conflict. And the Gulf Arabs are scared to death. Yeah. Which is why they tried to do a peace treaty with Israel for getting the Palestinians because right. their attitude is we need Well, and, ag and again, for those people who we imagine don't know this stuff, but they I think they probably do because they're watching CNN, yeah. uh, the Iranians are Shiites. Right. And the Gulf Arabs, most of the, of the Arab world is, is Sunni. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, I think, 85%. But the Shiites are very strong, and the Iranians have proxies in almost yes. every country that is surrounding Israel. They have the Houthis, that's in Yemen, yep. that's to the south. They have, they took over Iraq because we stupidly went and, and, and undid the balance of power right. there. Mm -hmm. Syria, um, and Lebanon, Hezbollah. So that is a Shiite Iranian-led arc that goes all around yes. the Middle East 
And yes, it is very frightening, and, it, and that was causing Saudi Arabia and Israel to make peace with each other, because the friend of my friend is, or the right. friend yeah. of my enemy, or whatever that saying is. Mm -hmm. my, my cousin's and, cousin is my yeah. friend. I and don't know, but, <laughs> but you know what I'm trying yes. to say, you know. Right. Uh, yeah. But we're in a better position than we've ever been in between alternate energy tech and alternate energy business practices and right. infrastructure. We're not their crack whores anymore. Right. Right. We're in a position now where if we walked away, we'd be in a much less pain than we were 20 years ago. And 20 years from now, we can just walk away. And yeah. they know that. Right. So now is the time to really pressure them and say, listen, if you yeah, want but... our support against Iran, you need to back a Palestinian state and use your money to build it, and then use your sons in their uniforms to be a peacekeeping force. Right. But again, you're going to have to convince the Palestinians themselves right. that they don't get the whole thing, because they don't seem to really want to give up on that idea. The well, whole that's the river to the sea, we get it all. Well, that's, that's Hamas. Are we talking that or regular yes. Palestinians? Well, you know, most Palestinians are just regular people who want a life. And remember, it was yes. Arafat who walked away from that. Right. It, well, it was, was their leadership. Well, he was what you would call a regular Palestinian. I don't know what that means, but I, oh, you're talking about the West Bank as opposed to Gaza. I'm talking about Gaza. the West Bank versus Gaza. Right. Those are right. two different ecosystems. Right. Okay. Um, what do you think of Katie Porter's claim? Okay, oh, for people God. who don't live here in California, Katie Porter, a Good. congressperson I've had on the show, not successfully. Um, <laughs> Did she come with a whiteboard? I can't remember now. <laughs> no, but uh, we don't like each other. Oh. Um, <laughs> no, it's true. I mean, she would do the same it's thing. Funny. You can't get along. Yeah. I mean, and she's not very. I feel quite vindicated by this because everyone's saying she's a nut and she's a sore loser. She claimed that the California primary, she ran against Adam Schiff. She's a congressperson running for the Senate, and now she claims the California primary was rigged. Yeah, everyone's, oh. yeah. What do you think about that? I just feel like you can't use the rigged word, especially when you're trying to, it's just like, <laughs> yes. that's, tr that's Trump's It's the word. R word. You you're... can't like cry wolf, right? You just can't right. do that. Adam Schiff elevated his Republican can uh, opponent so that he could be in an election where he was up against a Republican rather than another Democrat. And in a way, he saved the Democrats a ton of money. Now, they're not, now all this money isn't going into the California race for a Senate seat that will be filled by a Democrat, two Democrats fighting against each other. Mm -hmm. It's a Republican and Democrat. A Democrat will win, and everyone can put their money into other races. And <laughs> it's just... You lost. It's politics. It's dirty. People do this kind right. of stuff. I mean, you know, it, it's, what I, it. it's what I'm always saying to the Trump people. <laughs> you think he's so macho and you're yeah. the big tough guys, but the most tough, the basic tough thing that a tough guy would do is yeah. be able to say, I lost, right. and yeah. not pout, mm -hmm. and not be a whiny yeah. little bitch. That... <laughs> uh, what do you think of George Santos attending the State of the Union? <laughs> I was. <laughs> Floor privileges for the rest of your life, so he might come every year. Is that right? Yes. Wait a second. And it will help his cameo in his future OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> he has to be famous. If he's not famous, then what is he? And Bill, I don't know if you saw the latest news. He plans to uh, primary the Republican who um, from New York who worked so hard to try to evict him from the House. But I will say, like privately, you're not going to believe this, but some Republican members say to me. We shouldn't have got rid of George Sanders until he was actually convicted because we needed that vote. Seriously. Oh, I'm sure. They say that all the time. They're well, like, we just, we shouldn't have done it. We've waited before for other people to be convicted. And that's what they're, that's what they privately yeah. say. Well, isn't Menendez still a yeah, Democratic still, senator? Yeah. I mean, because they need the vote. Yeah, I mean, this, need the is, vote. this, this yeah. is, you know, this is the guy it's who was stuffing. It's embarrassing, but. Right. But when you need the vote, you know, hey, he was stuffing gold bricks in his pajamas? Well. <laughs> We're not all perfect, you know. <laughs> but wait, I'm very curious about this. So George, George Santos, he was in Congress. He, he got kicked out, right? right. The, 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 which is very rare. I don't, I think, don't it, think it's happened in like hundreds of years. Right? 100, 150 years okay, or something. Yeah. They kicked him out. I mean, even the Republicans couldn't take it anymore. Okay, <laughs> so he's not in Congress. No. But you're saying even if you're expelled, you have floor privileges? Yes. Like a gym? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You can really? Go, but yes. is it floor privilege any time? Can he just show up on any day? I'm pretty I, I, sure that you have floor privilege, privileges for the rest of your life. No matter what you do, even when you get expelled. I, I am. Okay. Yes. Can we well, change that? I mean, if he's I, in prison, I, I, he can't I, go to the floor, right? So it'll right. be difficult. I'm, 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 I'm going to run yeah. as a one issue oh. candidate on this. I have to say <laughs> good night for now. Thank you, CNN.
Thank you, you guys, and we'll see you next week.